good morning and praise the lord happy new year to everyone i greet you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ indeed it's my privilege and honor to share from the word of god i praise god for this opportunity and thank our senior pastor reverend tennison peter for the same time moves so fast it's hard to believe that another year has passed being at home with the terrible condition all around the globe there is a saying that the older we get the faster time goes by it be uh, is becoming a certain reality in our life today james chapter 4 verses 14 verse 14 which says for which is your life it is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanished away i am amazed at how quickly the year has gone it's the beginning of a new year and it's time to reflect on our lives and make a resolution to make certain changes in our life today can you guess what our first resolution every year we made the resolution may be to lose weight yet by the end of the year most people have not lost weight but they actually gain weight most of us have experienced this beginning being at home many people make some uh, make some pretty good uh, resolutions but have little resolve they make big resolutions but have little will power to or come over it it is my hope that this year resolution will remember christ and our personal relationship and worship with him today before we move further let us look to god in prayer our merciful father we thank you for the day you gave us to exalt your name on most high in this bright and shiny morning we pray for all your people may receive your blessings through your holy word and now let the word of my mouth and meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you a rock and redeemer amen today this morning i want to focus upon some new year resolutions that each of us should consider for ourselves but before we dwell in our topic we say how to begin our new year how to begin our new year from we read some chapter 139 verses from 23 to 24 some chapter 139 verses from 23 to 24 i thought you might enjoy a few stories of failed resolution first a story is told that at the beginning of a new year a high school principal decided to post his teachers new year resolution on the bulletin board of his school as the teacher uh, gathered around the bulletin board a great uh, commotion started over there one of these teacher was complaining why were in my resolution posted here she was throwing her uh, temper tantrum that the principal hurried to his office to see if he had overlooked his uh, her resolution sure enough he had mis- mislaid them on the desk as he reached her uh, uh, as he read her resolution he was surprised he was um, got amazed he was on in a shock this teacher 
who was complaining her first resolution was not to let little things upset her in her in this new year not a little thing should upset her in this coming new year or how about uh, the another one a son called his parent to wish them a happy new year and when his dad answered the call he asked dad well dad what's your new year resolution his dad replied to make your mother as happy as i can all year when his mom got on the phone he asked her the same question mom what is your resolution this year mom replied my resolution is to see that your dad keep the new year resolution on regardless of past successes or failures today i want you to give a new year resolution one more try but this time realize that keeping this promise is uh, to work in a team efforts that is invite the holy spirit to join you this year to invite you uh, invite holy spirit to join this year in acts chapter 2 beginning in verse 1 the holy spirit powerfully entered their life and they become bold preacher of the gospel jesus spoke of this same holy spirit in john chapter 14 verse 26 when he said but when the father sent the counselor as my representative that is holy spirit he will teach you everything and will rem- remind you of everything that i myself have told you as we plan a new year resolution today we must do do some realization that we cannot be successful in keeping it apart from god john chapter 15 verse 5b says apart from me you can do nothing the new year is upon us and we look forward to another year filled with opportunities to make that best use of opportunity that god given us in the is which must be sure that our hearts are right before him our hearts must right before him in psalm david is described as being a man after god's own heart that means that uh, he was a man who desired to know and do the will of god in these two verses david asks god to do three things in his life and i believe if we would sincerely ask god to do this three things in our life we might also be considered as a person who seek after god's heart let us see how we can begin our new year let us uh, concentrate it by three points first allow our god to search us and know our heart allow our god to search us and know our heart as we all knew this heart is the center of our life which is full of emotions which are not easily understandable in proverb chapter 4 verses 20 verse 23 says keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issue of life in first samuel chapter 16 verse 7 says but the lord said unto uh, samuel look not on his countenance or on the heights of his stature but i have refused him for the lord see not a man see 
for men look on the outward appearance but the lord look on their hearts but lord look on their hearts david asks god to search him and see what is in in his heart god is a wonderful god god knows everything god already knew what was in his heart but he asked to reveal him it to him that god would make him conscious of any wrong desire or motive that might hinder the blessings of god upon his life so today what we are going to do is we ought to do the same as david asks from god to search me and let him know so we should also ask god to look into the very center of our lives surrender our thoughts and ask him ask that he reveal to us anything in in our hearts that might prevent us from being what we need to be in this coming year first allow our god to search us and know our hearts let us move to the second point of the sermon which says allow god to try us and know our thoughts allow our god to try us and know our thoughts the very next thing that david asks god to literally put him to the test like as much the same as we test and prove metal to evaluate their purity example we all love to wear golds gold ornaments but do you know gold is heated time and again and again to bring all the impurities of to the surface where they can be removed by all the possible tests the pure gold comes come out to bend and mold it into a beautiful ornaments first peter chapter 1 verse 7 says this have come to that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold which perish even though refined by fire may result in praise glory and honor when jesus christ is revealed that is what david is asking god to do he prayed that god might know his very thought he asks god to read his mind when david asks david said see if there is any wicked way in me he wasn't challenging god to try to find any areas of wickedness but he was asking god to show to show them to him that he might confess and repent before god today in our life it is uh, more of needed thing to repent before god to come before god turn from our wickedness and come back to home our eternal home where we walk with our lord when we talk with our lord where we have a good conversation with our lord so allow god to try us and know our thoughts let us move to the third and final point of the sermon is allow god to lead us in the way of everlasting allow our god to lead us to the way of everlasting you know when here david asks god for direction and guidance in his life where we read in proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 there is a way that appears to be right but in the end it leads to death please do read this proverb chapter 14 verse 12 many a times when we work according to our thinking what we find is this is in the way lots of troubles 
obstacles and of fear which they lead us to draw near to tension broken heart and nothing remains in our hands nothing remains in our hands if we want to be used of god want to have a heart after god we must seek him allow him to lead us that means we must admit that we need his direction we need his guidance in our life we must be willing to follow his leadership he has given us a guide to show a so show us a way which is lead to us a good goodness and happily life only thing we which we all have to do is to allow him to take rule on us allow him to guide us allow him to lead us in our life today there is the choice is ours today the choice is ours do we want to have the blessings of god upon our life in this new year then we need to to be people who have heart for god and allow the help of holy spirit to be work as team to go more closer to god this should be our new year resolution and ask like david from god to search us and know our heart try us test us and bring glorious product from our life and lead our direction towards everlasting life i would like to end here by the verse from the gospel according to saint john chapter 16 verse 13 says but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you in into all the truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come ahead in a new year so today choice is ours whether we will allow our god into our life or not whether we will uh, allow our god to lead us whether we will allow our god to try us by this uh, short meditation may god bless us and keep us safe and sound amen